This conference will now be recorded. Rabbana Atina Fidunia Hasnato Fil Ahirati Hasnato Rabbana Atina Fidunia Hasnato Fil Ahirati Hasnato Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, 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 Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Ghafur Rur Rahim, Ya Ghafur Rur Rahim, Ya Rahman, Ya 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 Rahim, Ya Ilaha Illa. Anta Subhana Ka Inni Kunto Mina Zalim La Ilaha Illa Anta Subhana Ka Inni Kunto Zalimin La Ilaha Illa Anta Subhana Ka Inni Kunto Mina Zalimin La ilaha illa anta subhan ka inni kuntu min azalimin La ilaha illa anta subhan ka inni kuntu min azalimin La ilaha illa Ant Subhan ka inni kuntu min zalimin La ilaha illa Ant Subhan ka inni kuntu min zalimin La ilaha illa Ant Subhan ka inni kuntu min zalimin La ilaha illa anta subhan ka inni kunto min zalimin La ilaha illa anta subhan ka inni kunto min zalimin La ilaha illa 
سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین لا الہ الا انت سبحان کا انی کنتو من ظالمین سکران للہ والحمدللہ سکران للہ والحمدللہ رب العالمین یا علی مدد عزیزی سر یا علی مدد یا علی مدد بہت کو بہت کو تمام ساتھیوں کو یا علی مدد Thank you for joining us this morning. Inshallah, we will continue with our subject. Have we recognized and understood Imam as we should have? And this is part 20 of the Imam Shinasi. Inshallah, thank you again for joining. Let's start with the blessed name of Imam Zaman. Ya Mawlai Mirban, Madad Farma, Madad Farma. Ya Mawlai Mirban, Madad Farma, Madad Farma. Alayul Qayyum, Ali Allah. Alayul Qayyum, Ali Allah, Madad Farma. یا مولا اے مربان مدد فرما مدد فرما مدد فرما نور مولانا شاہ کریم السینی حاضر امام حاضر امام یا مولا توفیق تائید حمد و یاری مولا توفیق تائید حمد و یاری مولا یا مولا مدد فرما مولا یا مولا مربان اپنے نور سے ہم گریبوں کی ہدایت فرما مولا یا مولا ہمارے قریب آجا مولا یا مولا ہمارے اور قریب آجا مولا اور قریب آجا مولا اپنا دست مبارک ہم گریبوں پر رکھ مولا تاکہ ہم کوئی علمی کام کر سکے مولا تیرے نور کی روشنی میں مولا یا مولا اے مربان تیری مدد کی بغیر ہم کچھ بھی نہیں ہیں مولا یا مولا اے مربان مدد مولا توفیق مولا تاہید مولا حمد و یاری مولا تمام ساتھیوں کو ایک بار پھر یا علی مدد and thank you for joining us again Part 20, Imam Shanasi, Noor in the Holy Quran. Today, we will learn what are the principle of belief, Iman, and principle of obedience, submission. As a human, we are guided by the Quran, by the prophets, by the imams, and by the hudud 
thin. In example, peers and dies. In saying this, we understand <clears throat> that it would be hard for a human, a momin, a musajib, to directly, without any intercessor, without any go-to, to talk to and connect with the Nure Mujarrad, the abstract Nur. Those who says, I do not need Imam, I do not need prophets, is between me and my Allah. What they are saying or claiming to be that they are at the such a elevation, maybe at the elevation of a prophet, where Allah will speak to them directly. We are not that, we are Garib and Nachis. We are nothing and we are nobody. How can we directly connect with abstract Nur? The Nure Mujarrad. But with the mercy of the Imam Zaman, that he is connecting us through his nur and guidance with that nur e mujarrad as he himself is the nur e mujassam, as he is the embodied Noor, the Noor that we could not touch, reach, understand, comprehend, out of our reach completely, now has come to us in the form of a body. That is noor e mujassam embodied Noor, in the form of the Imam Zaman in our respected time, compared to in the time of prophethood, the Nur would come in the form of the prophets, Natakin, Imaman, Asasan, and of course, Hududadin, Hujatan, and Dayan. And that is the core principle of the teaching and guidance in the Quran. Let me explain this in Urdu and we will come back to these references on your screen about those two ayat. Aaj hum ek aisi, aisa asool e deen sikhne ja rahe hain कि जहां पर हम ये देखेंगे कि हम जो कुछ भी नहीं है एक गरीब और नाचीज खुदा के बंदे कैसा मुमकिन है कि हम डायरेक्टली खुदा के नूर तक पहुंच जाए वो नूर जो नूर ए मुजरद है यानी कि ऐसा नूर जिसको ना तो हम देख सकते हैं ना तो छू सकते हैं ना उसको समझ सकते हैं ना उस तक पहुंच सकते हैं वो हमसे अबाव एंड अबाव ऑल एल्स है लेकिन उसकी मेहरबानी देखें 
कि उसने अपने इस नूर को जो हमारी पोंछ से बाहर था एक इमाम के अंदर रखा एक जिसम के अंदर रखा ताकि हम उसको देख भी सके उस तक पहुंच भी सके उसको छू भी सके उसको समझ भी सके उससे मदद भी ले सके अगर कोई शख्स ये कहता है कि मैं डायरेक्टली खुदा से अपनी हिदायत और अपना कनेक्शन बना लेता हूं मुझे ना तो इमाम की जरूरत है ना ही पैगंबरों की जरूरत है ना ही पीरों की जरूरत है मुझे किसी की जरूरत नहीं है मैं डायरेक्ट खुदा से अपना कनेक्शन रखता हूं तो वो ये कहता है खुदा ना खासा कि मैं खुद एक ऐसा पैगंबर हूं जो डायरेक्टली खुदा के टच में हूं नौजबिल्ला हम गरीब और नाचीज ऐसा नहीं कह सकते हैं हम कहा और वो नूर कहा हम किस खाद की मूली है हमारी कोई हकीकत नहीं हमें तो हर वक्त खुदा के उस नूर की मदद की जरूरत रहती है जो उसी ने अपनी इनायत बेनिहायत से हमारे दरमियान में रखा हुआ है यानी के इमाम जमान की सूरत में तो ये कहना कि मैं डायरेक्टली खुदा से रजू कर लूंगा ये कहना होगा नौजिल्ला खुदा न खासा कि मैं कोई बहुत बड़ा पैगंबर हूं हम ये काम नहीं कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हम अपनी औकात और हकीकत को जानते और पहचानते हैं कि हम कुछ नहीं बस गरीब और नाचीज हैं सो लेट्स टेक ए लुक एट दिस टू आयात एंड दिस आर नॉट न्यू आयात यू हैव सीन दिस आयात मेनी टाइम बिफोर द फर्स्ट आयात वी विल रिफर टू is called ayat or ayat of the iman the ayat of the belief ayae iman and look at what allah himself is telling us through quran that if you wanted to believe me then believe in rasul and if you wanted to believe in rasul then believe in the noor which has come with him in the form of imam kya farmaya believe in allah believe in rasul and believe in the noor which has come with the rasul in the form of the imam meaning if you wanted to believe me you must come through rasul and if you cannot reach to the rasul then reach through noor which is amongst you in the form of imam which has come with the rasul in the form of ali and the ali is the man which is amongst you today that is the hierarchy of belief iman is not complete not complete till we believe in the noor the imam because imam is that noor today which through we can believe in the rasul and through rasul we can 
get to the Noor of Allah. So where do we find the Noor of Allah? In the Imam today. So Iman, the faith, one cannot call himself a believer, a moment, until you fulfill this condition which Allah has put on the followers. They believe in me through the Prophet and believe in Prophet through the Nur which has been sent with him in the form of Ali, the Imam. Let's say for the sake of argument, and someone can argue with me, but it does not say in the ayat the word Imam. It says, and the Nur which we have sent down with him. Then my question would be, where is that Nur today? Where is that Nur today? Then one would have to say that when Allah gives, when Allah sent, as we can see, when he sent the Quran, he did not take the Quran when the Prophet left. Then how can he take the Noor when Prophet left this world physically? And Rasul himself have told us and guided us that I'm leaving behind me two heavy things. My book, the Quran, I'm not taking it with me. I'm leaving it for you, for your guidance. And the Noor in the form of my Itrat, my Elabeth, the Imam, the Asas. See, he did not take it with him. He said, I'm leaving those both things which has been given to me for the guidance of the believers. And remember the key word here is believers. तो क्या फरमाया कि जब खुदावन ताला ने रसूल को कुरान और नूर के साथ भेजा तो जब वो इस दुनिया से रुखसत हो रहे थे तो आपने देखा कि वो कुरान अपने साथ लेके नहीं गए हैं इसी तरह से वो नूर भी अपने साथ लेकर नहीं गए हैं कुरान भी हमारी गाइडेंस के लिए छोड़ा और उसके साथ नूर Ali ki surat mein, Imam ki surat mein, humare liye chhod diya. Taake humare paas har amesha, Noor ki roshni, aur Quran ki hidayat, saas saas mein ho. Kya farmaya? Mein apne piche, do bari chizhe chhodhe jata hoon. Mera Quran, aur meri itrat. Jis kisi ne in dono chizho ko mazbooti se pakda, Whomever will hold to those both things, the Quran and the Noor, my Itrat, the Imam, will never be divided. And this Noor and this Quran will come back to me at the time of Qiyamah. Till then, they will remain together. Quran and the Noor will remain together until the time of Qiyamah. Now, let's look at the second similar condition. The first one was the Iman. Second one is obedience. One cannot say, I will obey Allah without obeying Rasul. And you one cannot say, I will obey the Rasul 
without obeying the ulil amr the one amongst you meaning there cannot be direct obedience to allah why why because he is out of our reach out of our comprehension he is above all else so how do we obey him then we say we obey allah through the obedience of the prophet how do we obey the prophet through the obeying those who are amongst us with his amr ati ullah wa ati rasul wa ullil amra minkum meaning without the obedience to the imam al zaman who is the authority with the amr amr ilahi who is amongst us his obedience is like obedience to the prophet and the obedience of the imam and the prophet is like obedience to allah but not directly again if someone claims that i will not obey the imam and his farman but i will obey the quran and rasul that is not acceptable according to this ayat obedience is not complete till we obey the amr and the amr is with those who are form in the nur and the iman and the ilm who are form yani ke ittihad khuda ki directly bila vasta mumkin nahi kyunki wo hamari pooch se bahut dur hai isliye zaruri hua ke hum uski ittihad ke liye raste aur zaraye talash kare aur wo usne ab meherbani karke hamare samne rakh diye hain ki agar tum meri itaat karna chahte ho to rasool ki itaat karo aur rasool ne kya farmaya agar tum meri itaat karna chahte ho to tum mere ulil amr ki itaat karo imam wa asas ali ki itaat karo imam e zaman ki itaat karo jo amr e ilahi ke sath tumhare darmiyan mein ilm wa ruhaniyat aur noor mein mazboot hai itaat karo allah ki rasool ke zariye se aur itaat karo rasool ki ulil amr ke zariye se taaki tumhari itaat mukammal ho sake wo itaat mukammal nahi hai jo ulil amr ke bigar hai yani ki imam ke bigar koi bhi obedience itaat kabool nahi hoti aur ye do kanoon hai iman ke aur itaat ke is this very clear inshallah for us as we are the believers and we are the obedience we believe in the nur e ilahi in the imam that he is the nur which has been sent to us for the guidance forever 
and ever and ever. Along with it, he has the Amar, total authority. So we should obey his Amar because that is the Noor and the Amre Ilahi. And that is the one who is amongst us in the form, in the body of the Imam Zaman. Without that, there is no obedience. And without that, there is no Iman faith. That is the key principle of the religion. Never changed. Because if Hidayat and the Nur was not necessary, and not important. Then after the Adam, Allah would not have sent 124,000 prophets to guide us. He would not have sent the books, multiple books to guide us. Whatever Allah did at one time, his habit does not change. His sunnat remains firm. Atal. Wo hamesha apni adat par kaim hai. Agar ye ek vakt ke liye mumkin hota aur baad mein nahi, to fir khuda adam ke baad kabhi bhi kisi rasool ko na bejta. Aapne dekha ki usne ek nahi, ek lakh chubi sazal pegambaro ko beja और बहुत सारी किताबों को रखा हमारी हिदायत के लिए उसकी आदत में कोई तब्दीली नहीं उसकी आदत अटल है वो हमेशा लोगों की हिदायत के लिए किताब और नूर हमारे दरमियान में रखता है हर हमेशा और ये उसकी आदत है अगर ना होती तो वो कभी भी इतने ज्यादा रसूलों को पैगंबरों को इमामों को ना बेचता नेक्स्ट लाइन वट डज इमाम डू फॉर अस वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द इमाम फॉर द बिलीवर्स एंड ओबीडियंट वट इज इज फंक्शन सो what happen when you believe in the noor and obey him have we ever asked ourselves this question what are the advantages what are the benefits of us believing in imam and obeying him versus those who do not believe in imam and do not obey him what are the benefit सवाल यहां पर आ है कि हमें क्या फायदा है कि जब हम इमाम के ऊपर यकीन ईमान लाते हैं और फिर उसके फरामीन को मानते हैं ओबे करते हैं सबमिट करते हैं वट आर दी बेनिफिट उसके क्या हमें फवाद होते हैं ये एक सवाल है जो हमें पूछना चाहिए कि हम में और दूसरों में क्या फर्क है हमारे पास क्या एडवांटेजेस है क्या फवाद है हमारे पास इसके क्या बेनिफिट है हमारे पास इसके इनाम क्या है हमारे पास ये आंसर सिट्स इन दिस आयत सोलह आयत नंबर 11 ही अल्लाह डजन से मी और आई नोट अल्लाह डज ना से मी और आई अल्लाह से ही ही द इमाम मे ब्रिंग दोस्त हु बिलीव याद रखें यहां पर खुदा कहता है कि वो नहीं कहता है कि मैं वो इमाम उनको निकालता है 
जो ईमान रखते हैं वो डिज इज है नॉट मी एंड आई ही मे ब्रिंग दो बिलीव बिकॉज यू बिलीव इन इमाम देन ही विल ब्रिंग यू and along with the belief if you do good deeds meaning you obey his farman then he will bring you out of the darkness into the noor that is the function of the imam kya farmaya khuda ne nahi kaha ke main kya farmaya wo यानी कि इमाम आप क्लियरली देख सकते हैं यहां पर ही इमाम जब आप उसके ऊपर ईमान लाते हैं और अच्छे अमाल करते हैं यानी कि उसके फरामीन को मानते हैं और उस पर चलते हैं तो वो आपको जहालत के अंधेरों से नूर की तरफ ले आता है वो आपको ये नूर इनायत करता है वो आपको नूरान नूर से हिदायत करता है वो नूर के जरिए से आपको अंधेरों से जहालत के अंधेरों से बाहर निकालता है वो आपकी रूह को डार्कनेस से निकालकर अपने नूर की रोशनी में ले आता है ये फायदा है ये बेनिफिट है वरना एक इस्माइली होने का क्या फायदा हमको पूछना चाहिए कि हमारा क्या फायदा है इस्माइली होने में तो इसका जवाब भी आपको इधर ही मिल गया ये है ट्रू इमाम शनासी कि जब आप इमाम को जानते और पहचानते हैं तो फिर इमाम के ऊपर ईमान लाते हैं और इमाम के फराम को मानते हैं उसके ओबीडियंस करते हैं तब जाकर वो आपका हाथ पकड़कर आपको जहालत के अंधेरों से निकालकर नूर की रोशनी की तरफ ले जाता है दैट इज द बेनिफिट एंड एडवांटेज of following the imam e zaman next question so what happen when you believe in the noor and obey him and you will see them you will see those mu'minin who have believed and obey now that you have obey and now you have believed in the imam then you will see those mu'minin let me show you what those mu'minin looks like who truly believe in the imam who have recognized the imam who have brought the iman with the recognition of the imam on him and then they obey him obey his farman without any ifs and buts they follow the farman of the imam let me show you what they will look like noor will be in front of them and on the side of them and they will be saying ya ali allah please complete our noor for us do we understand when we believe in imam and obey him he guide us towards the noor matter of fact he give us that noor and brings us out of the darkness and you will see those mu'minin who are imam shanasan who believe in imam as ali allah who obey the farameen of the imam 
without any hesitation, without any doubt, then you will see they are the one with the noor. Not only that, look at their humility. They will say, Ya Mola, please complete our noor for us. Meaning, take us closer and closer to your noor, so may we completely immerse in your noor, in the ocean of your noor. Jab koi imam par iman lata hai, mukammal tor par, aur keta hai ki tu ali Allah hai, aur phir uske farameen par kisi doubt ke bigar, hesitation ke bigar, mukammal chalta hai. तब आप उसको देखेंगे उन मोमिनों को कि इमाम उसको किस तरह से अपने नूर से नवाजता है अब उनका नूर उनके आगे आगे चलता है उनके साथ साथ चलता है और वो अपनी आजीजी में कहते हैं या मुला तू मेरे नूर को और मुकम्मल कर मुझे अपने नूर के और करीब ले जा और करीब ले जा और मुझे मुकम्मल तौर पर इस नूर के अंदर एक कर दे ये है इनाम दिस इज दी रिवॉर्ड फॉर दोज हु हैव बिलीव्ड एंड ओबे दैट इज द रिवॉर्ड एंड वी शुड एज द ट्रू मोमिन ऑफ द Imam is the man. Ask ourselves this kind of question, so we can answer ourselves, and then follow in the true sense, without any doubt and without any hesitation. This is a question we should ask and push it, so that we can imam ko sahi maino me pichhan kar iman la kar. उसके फरमान पर चल सके द लास्ट लेसन फॉर द डे दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट फरमान ऑफ इमाम आका सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह सलवा तो लाई मे माई सोल बी सेक्रीफाइड टू देर इमाम वेन हिस केम ऑन द सीट ऑफ द इमामत अंडर द एज ऑफ एट ईयर The very first Farman. Let me draw a picture for you. What was the scene? Imam, Iman, Mafi, Imam. Within the five years, changed the seat, the Jama three times within five years, from Hasan Ali Shah Mabab. to alisha mabab to sultan mohammad shah three imams change the seat within 5 years can you imagine if you can picture that scene what jamaat would be thinking feeling what they would look like at that point they just lost two great imam within 5 years Imam Hasan Ali Shah and Imam Ali Shah Mabab, and now in the front of them is the young, less than eight-year-old Imam. Can you picture that? If you can, I would like to draw a picture for you. Let's take the journey back in 1885, almost 140 years. to date imagine a young boy less than 8 year of age on sitting on the shoulder of his uncle jangi chacha the brother of alisha mola alisha the son of hasan alisha sitting on his shoulder 
such a tender young age have a ball in his hand and he's playing with the ball just a child jamaat is crying crying out loud ya mola asu sai kiyo hamara be mota mota buzurg imam hamara si chala gaya ane aa bachcha ne hamara mate muki gaya jamaat is crying jamaat is crying loudly if you can picture that what have happened we lost two great buzrug dadi topi jabba great imams and left us with this young boy what are we going to do and they are crying amaldars mukhi kamdiyas are saying to the jamaat jamaato khamosh se yao jamato don't cry mola nindo ai dirjivino what did he say mola nanakro che bachcho che dadi ase shor na karo awaz na karo roro na imam listening doesn't say anything chacha puts him down imam has the ball he is playing the ball he is bouncing the ball playing on the stage run and get on top of the gadi the seat standing on the gadi still playing with the ball what a test what a test jamaat is crying more loudly now what's going to happen to us what's going to happen to the jamaat they are crying they are screaming and mukhi kamri are saying kamosh kamosh mola nindo aaye dil jeevno mola nanakdo che dadiya se mola chote hain dar jayenge please don't scream mola is young he will get scared mola is listening what a test कैसा इम्तिहान होगा आप इसको तस्वुर करें तस्वुर करें ऑल ऑफ दिस सडन इमाम कम्स ऑन माइक थिंक ऑफ दिस यंग मैन नॉट इवन एट ईयर ओल्ड ऑल ऑफ दिस सडन ही कम्स ऑन अ माइक एंड लाउडली सेस ए जमातो Jama did not know what to make of it. They were not expecting this young boy to say anything. He was busy playing with his ball. All of a sudden, on the mic, loud sound. The sound of Ali Azman. The sound of the Nure Ilahi. Hey, Jama, to Jama. is quiet they were not expecting that don't think i am young don't consider me small e jamato tumhe em na vicharo ke hu nano chho with that majestic voice the nure ali is speaking through this young imam don't think i am small i am the descendant of the prophet and hazrat ali amirul mu'minin was my great grandfather hazrat bibi fatima khatun jannat was my great grandmother jamaato mane nano nahi samajho hu ale nabi aulad e ali cho ali e murtaza mara dada ane khatun e jannat fatima mari dadi tame mane nano nahi samajho 
I am the Noor of Ali and Nabi both. Who Noor Chow? Joe, Mane Joe. Who Noor Chow? Ali and Nabi no. Tame Mane Nano ni Samacho. I am young in my age, but my status is high. Untamne Deka Mama Nano Laguchu, Likin Maro Derjo. Don't think me as a small. Don't let your eyes cheat you, deceive you. Tameji Jojo Ewu Nati Hu Ali Vursazad or Nur Chow. Now, Imam says, and this is the magic line word that has to do with our Imam Shanasi. For us, even after 140 years, what does Imam says? Now, Kabardar, Yad Rakjo, make sure you recognize the Imam of the time. Kabardar tami yad rakjo ane zamana na imam ne orakjo imam shanasi imam majboot thai jajo How do we see imam? Remember the question? How do we see imam? Have we recognized the imam? Have we understood the imam? Do we recognize him? in the way we should recognize him. How do we see him? Do we see him as a human? Do we see him as a guide, intercessor? Do we see him as a nur? Or do we see him as Ali Allah, Ali Murtaza? How do we see him? And then Mullah says, not only that you should recognize the Imam of the time, but make sure you make good friends with him. How can you be friend with the Imam if you don't even recognize him? How can you be close to him like a friend if you don't accept him? How you can take the advantage and obey the friend, the Imam, if you don't accept him? as Imam. That is the line, the punch line, the bottom line for us. So Keshe Mola, Mola farmate hai ke yaad rakna ke hamesha zamane ke Imam ki pechan apne dil mein rakna aur usko apna dos bana ke rakna. Sawal hamare liye hai ke hum imam ko kis tarah se dekhte hain insaan ke taur par ek wasile ke taur par ek noor ke taur par ya usko ali allah mante hain ye sawal infradi taur par individually hum sab ke liye hai this question is individually is for each one of us and only one can answer that is you and yourself this is the farman and this is the end of today's class now we can open the floor i'm sure it must have jolted you if it did not jolt it you, I would like to ask you to wake up, pay attention, recognize the Imam of the time. Make sure you believe in the Imam in the way you should believe in him. Obey the Imam the way you should obey him and make sure you make good friend with him. Come closer and closer to him like a friend come closer to his noor if you are not shaken
that means you are still sleeping. Wake up. G. Let me stop here. Yes, sir, Subhanallah, sir. Uh, friends, please uh, share your questions in the chat. Or you can use the hand, hand raise feature to ask any question. Okay, sir, we don't have any questions in the chat at this time. Any friends have any question? You can use the hand raise feature. If there are no questions, we can take off early today. Uh, Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Manek, I have a man who is 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 a Imam na noor sak pocho amate batayzi pehle be sharat susu hoti. Obey Imam and believe in the Imam. Those were the two condition. If you remember the first lesson of the day. Because we could not reach to the noor e mujarad. So kame ke apre noor e mujarad sak nota pochi sakta. So, Khudai Asu Keru, Aapra Maate Ek Nure Mujassam Imam Ni Suraj Maa Aapra Agar Raikho Ne Pachhi Hukam Keru Ke Tame Ena Maate Iman Liyao Jo Ane Ene Ena Farman Ne Maan Jo Taake Tame Mara Nure Tak Pochi Chao Agar Tame Iman Imam No Nure Chao Chhe so, बताइए सी पहले तमारो ईमान ने मजबूत करवो से अने तमारी obedience इत्ताहात फरमान बर्दारी ने कंप्लीट कर दिया से हम पाचो एक दवा तमने आ स्क्रीन देखा रो जी तमारा सामने चे ईमान is not complete तमारो ईमान मजबूत नथी अजून तक मुकम्मल नथी जहाँ तक के तमारो ईमान Noor na mathe na hoi. Imam na mathe na hoi. Second, tamari obedience, farman bardari bhi complete na thi, jatak ke tamari farman bardari, amar, yani ke imam na zamana na farman na mathe, complete, mukammal na hoi. Have tamay vicharo, ke tamay kya farman na mano cho, अन्य क्या फरमान ने नथी मानता? ये तमारा सवाल नो जवाब चहे कि सुका में हूँ इमाम ना नूर ने नथी जो तो तो खराबी इमाम ना नूर माना थी खराबी आपरा इमान ना अंदर चहे या आपरी फरमान बर्दारी ना अंदर चहे हूँ कैसे तमारो इमान मजबूत चहे शायद फरमान बर्दारी मां प्रॉब्लम चहे तमे फरमान ने लियो अने एक-एक फरमान ने क्यों मैं आफरमान माते अमल केरो मैं आफरमान माते अमल केरो मैं आफरमान माते अमल केरो मैं मारी ओबीडियंस कंप्लीट केरी आ सवाल ना जवाब तमे पोते दे सको चो हूँ ने भी जो कोई नसी दे सकतो विच फरमान हैव वी नॉट फॉलोड दैस हाउ यू विल फाइंड द नूर because if your iman is firm, अगर तमारे iman मजबूत चहे, तब मैं बताए फरमान माते अमल करो चहो, तो तो मुमकिन न नथी के तमे नूर ने ना जो योए, जी, जी अनीला, if you have any questions, याली मदद अजीज सर, याली मदद जैसे आपने बोला कि बिलीव होना चाहिए और गुड डीड्स होना चाहिए ओबे ओबीडियंस इन कन्विक्शन नॉट कन्वीनियंस एंड बिलीव देन देर इस अ आयत दैट यू रेफरेंस्ड हियर इस 66 ओवर 66 बाय 18 कि 
nor in uh, you will be you will see them what you have believe and obey in the front and the right side of them so is come thoda sa explain karenge front or right side what does that mean okay so let me take you a little bit back before we get to the nur of the mu'minin take you a little bit back those two condition not only iman but the form iman iman is on three levels iman is on three level ilmul yakin first you recognize the imam through ilm ilmul yakin you see the imam and his nur through your eyes haqqul yakin become one with his nur so iman is on three level so which level are we in are we on the ilmul yakin level annual yakin level or haqqul yakin level when that iman is complete then comes the obedience are we following the faramin of the imam because it's convenient for us or because it is a farman then there is no question even if it's hard for us to follow let's take that also on three level imam says do your personal search learn from the history and join those classes where the ilm of the tariqa is given if we just take this three farman what have we done so far personal search is the ibadat and looking for the true ilm learn from the history again through the ilm and through the anul yakin meaning go into your ibadat and in your dreams and in our books to find how our dais and peers and hujatan had behaved and then the final how do we become one with him now your answer to your question those who have done that you will find them with the light of the imam guiding them in the front front meaning in the form of guidance they are the true ones who have been guided by the light of the imam not the others because they fulfilled the condition of the completion of the faith and obedience so they are guided by the nur of the imam in the front and they are also guided by the nur as a friend from the right meaning they will find themselves with the nur of the imam who is running in front of them guiding them and also they find the imam as a friend holding their hand and walking alongside with them so in the front and the side as a guide as a friend as the imam as the angel as a peer as a dai so imam manifest for them as a nur in the front manifest as a friend as a guide holding their hand from the right side that's what it means thank you sir shukrila alhamdulillah biju mane ek farman yaad aayu ke jare tame nur ne joy sakcho to chare baaju joy sakcho to ana bara ma samjhavcho when you are one with the nur why chare baaju aath baaju bar baaju sol baaju એટલે કે ઇમામ જાફર સાદિક નો તમે ફરમાન જોશો તો તમને સોલ તરફ ઉપર નીચે આગળ પાછળ સીધા હાથ માં ઉલટા હાથ માં તમારા વાર ના અંદર તમારી સ્કીન ના અંદર તમારી ખૂન ના અંદર તમારી હડીઓ ના અંદર તમારી રગો ના અંદર તમારા ગોશ ના અંદર તમારા દિલ ના અંદર 
તમારી આંખોના અંદર તમારી કાનના અંદર તમારા નાકના અંદર અને તમારા મોઢાના અંદર જબાનના માટે તમને નૂર નજર આવશે ઇન્શાલ્લા જી સર વી હેવ ધ ક્વેશ્ચન ઇન ધ ચેટ ફ્રેન્ડ આસ્કિંગ અબાઉટ ધ અજર અઝીમ વિચ ઇઝ ઇન ધ ફોર્થ પાર્ટ ઓફ દુઆ ઇટ ટોક્સ અબાઉટ સો ફ્રેન્ડ સેઇંગ સો ઇઝ ઇઝ ટોકિંગ અબાઉટ ધ સેમ અજર અજર અઝીમ ધ કી વર્ડ ઇઝ અજર અઝીમ ધેટ ઇઝ ધ ગ્રેટ રિવોર્ડ ફોર ધ મોમિનીન what is the great reward of the mu'minin from the imam he makes them like him let me take you again back into the hadith qudsi where allah says o believer o bani adam you follow me you believe in me and you obey me i will make you like me i am noor i will make you noor i have a noor you will have a noor that is the ajr e azim the great reward for the mu'minin subhanallah ji may i request friends to refrain from calling this ilm this garib and nachis ilm i am nothing and nobody if this ilm have taken place in your heart then this ilm belongs to the imam e zaman if there was any mistakes made during this class then those mistakes are mine and mine only i do not require nor need nor want no use for any praise for this garib and nachis i am nothing remember that imam is everything remember that all ilm belongs to him ji any last comment question we have two through three more minutes before we stop one last comment one last question come on sir should we stop if there are no questions uh ji sir i think there nobody seems like you have any questions Okay thank you everyone thank you for joining us may mola be with you may mola Amin. bless you yali mata yali mata thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much mola accept your seva thank you very very much sir amen amen thank you so much yali mata thank you yali mata yali mata yali mata sir yali mata sir yali mata yali mata yali mata